Hello and welcome to episode 3 of uh, this jersey collection uh, vlog. We're going to get straight into it with the next jersey which is actually uh, Manchester City's home kit from the 2011-12 season, um, also known as the Aguero title winning season. Um, infamous moment, infamous jersey. This is the one they were wearing when they beat QPR on that uh, eventful day. I am a Man City fan, so this one's got a, a special place. And it is actually the first jersey that I sent for, well not sent for, that's an old saying, that I, that I ordered online, first one that came from overseas. So this is, it doesn't even fit me, it's too small. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, it's, it's an old one. It's the original jersey that really got this collection. Uh, kicked off, I guess, and um, it's yeah a classic, classic moment. I remember watching it, not live. It was on uh, overnight. Watched it in the morning, and what a moment that was. Um, the next two, there's two of the same. Um, the Newcastle Jets. This is the first season I started following them um, when they signed Heskey. I uh, hadn't really watched the A League before that hadn't really got into too much football that's not international football before that so this was it um, the horizontal stripes of course so yeah I got the uh, that was the one I bought and then this one sort of I think I got given and then um, this has actually got Heskey on the back and it's signed by the great man himself um, I miss those days ML Heskey was you know, I've spoken to a lot of players and he was very down to earth for someone who's played for England and Liverpool and you know he's done a lot more than your average A-League player will ever do so that's Heskey and uh, it'd be great to have him back just as a, for an appearance. Anyway the next shirt, um, one of my favourites, Grimsby Town is, is this, I'd wear it more often except this badge right here, this Grimsby Town badge is the pointiest worst stitching job I've seen on a shirt and just wearing it just it, it doesn't feel good um, it's a pointy badge and that's sort of it but nonetheless Grimsby Town um, I played with them on FIFA for what it was probably four four months or something at the end of last year um, all the way to the Champions League final this was a shirt um, I just like black and white stripes that's probably from my time at Cookshill and I think uh, offsetted by red is is a perfect way to do it. The red is what makes this Grimsby compared to Newcastle. The red sort of gives it that Grimsby Town look. Um, go have a look up. Go look up Grimsby Town and see what a beautiful place that is. Um, Colorado Rapids is up next. Um, I really like these colours. I like. I don't know if they're the state colours of Colorado. I don't think they are because. Um, I just remembered their, their away kit a couple of years ago was a state flag, I'm pretty sure, but nonetheless, uh, burgundy, I'm going to say, and the blue and the white, it just it just all works. You've got the, uh, the Rapids logo, the MLS, I've got an MLS shirt on at the moment, but um, you've got the MLS badge, which is coloured as well. Uh, the blue is, I, I, I like it, I like the blue. The blue is sort of what makes this a Colorado shirt rather than maybe a Torino shirt, I guess off the top of my head. Um, I'm pretty sure the hockey team, the Colorado Avalanche, wear a similar sort of colorway, I guess. And as you can see, this is this year's um, shirt, or last year's, it's got those stripes down the side. Um, moving on to another Adidas shirt, which is a classic, classic shirt. This one, Ajax. Um, they pretty much wear the same identical shirt every season, just change it up a little bit. I don't know which season this is from. Um, I was actually supposed to have a Feyenoord shirt, but that was in the wash, unfortunately. So this is Ajax. Um, definitely the biggest team in Holland. Um, that's the Netherlands for those keeping count. It's got all their all their logos from over the year, over the years on the back of it. Uh, the three stars, I'd imagine, would be the European title. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but I imagine that they've won some silverware in their time. They've got the crosses here, all these little crosses, which um, I'm pretty sure is a flag of Amsterdam, or at least a symbol of Amsterdam. So that is Ajax, um, the Dutch powerhouse. 
um, and what a what a pro what a product of like, the youth academy they got is second to none at Ajax. Uh, Belgium's up next. The national team. This was their alternate shirt for the 2014 World Cup. I've never really looked at this shirt this closely, but I've just realised just how far that badge is. I don't, I don't know. It just feels like the badge is really far down on the shirt, but it's a good shirt. Um, it's got the the national colours of Belgium, obviously, um, the black and the red and the yellow. Uh, got Belgium on the back, and yeah, Belgium are a side that you know I, I haven't really been looking at the European qualifiers that much, but uh, the World Cup. They were really good at that World Cup a couple of years ago in the Euros. They got some handy players, Belgium, and uh, the shirts are always, always a kind of nice um, material. It's made by Beruda, Berda. I don't, I don't know if it's still made by them. But we move on to uh, our first Joma kit. If I'm not mistaken, I might have had one in the other videos. Who knows? Um, I've got a few Joma local kits, Walls End and. Um, Bell Swan stuff and that sort of stuff, but this is uh, Valencia from Spain. Um, this is the third kit. Valencia actually wear all white um, with black shorts uh, as their home kit, but this is based on the flag of Valencia or whatever region Valencia is in Spain, I should say. I don't remember off the top of my head, but um, so this is a third choice kit, but this is what, when I think Valencia, I think this really works as a home kit. You've got the yellow, the red, and the blue. It's just a Valencia sort of look. I don't like the boring white kit, but, you know, that's obviously their traditional home jersey. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked this up on the cheap as well off of our classic football shirts. So there's a shout out for you to buy some shirts from a few years ago um, for cheaper than what they were at the time. Um, another two jerseys in one, so two repeats. I don't have too many repeats, but this is Manchester City's third kit from the year 2012-13. I'm telling you that because that badge right there says the 11-12 champions. So this was the year after they won that infamous Premier League title. Um, I think the last year they were working with Umbro. The material on this is all free shirts that year. Um, the maroon one, which I'll have in a later video. They were absolutely beautiful shirts. This is a good shirt. I think I've got the jacket as well that goes with this shirt. It's probably my favourite jacket to wear. Um, and I also got another one on the cheap at the end of the season and got company on the back. I've got a few Vincent Company shirts. What a player. Um, unfortunately, probably not up to not up to it as much these days, company. But again, Belgium. Um, next one is Cardiff City from when they were in the Premier League which was uh, the 14-15 season they may have been relegated at the end of it I think um, this was the final season I think before they changed back to the traditional blue so if there's any Cardiff fans out there it might piss them off about the uh, whole Vincent Tan sort of thing with the the uh, the Bluebirds becoming the Dragons and um, nonetheless I like the look it's it's a Puma shirt. I, I did like this year when Puma had the two uh, the collar with the two stripes on it. I think that was a good year for Puma templates. Um, Newcastle, I got one of their shirts from that year as well, which I think might have been on the video already. I'm not sure, but um, Cardiff City, uh, Welsh team, of course, and um, have had some good players in that time. And but again, they got relegated and they haven't really been looking like coming back anytime soon. Uh, the last shirt for today is an Arsenal shirt from 2015-16 season. Uh, the away kit, as I said the other day with that yellow and blue one from this year, I just, I like the colours and this, when I first saw it I thought that's just crazy, but I don't know, I just had to, I, I might have been, no I didn't buy this locally because it's got a name on the back, but I, I don't know, I must have seen this shirt in a shop and just thought, you know, that's actually a decent shirt. Um, as for the name on the back, I just went and got the most outrageous thing I could think of, and I got Murder Sacker on the back because that's just a brilliant name. You're wearing that down the street, and someone looks at the back of your shirt and says Murder Sacker. Um, I just, I just think that's that's a good name. Per Murder Sacker, very good player too, very good defender. Um, so yeah, that's the Arsenal diamond shirt, I guess you could call it. 
made by Puma as well. Um, be back with episode four tomorrow.